you know, um, being a council worker, right, this is my brief description of, of what it's like. The job that I do, I work on grounds. I mainly spend most of my time out on parks. But it don't matter what job you do with the council, right? Public always seem to attack you. You know, you're like the lowest of the low. You know, oh, there's a council worker sat in his van for whatever reason he's going to be doing doing paperwork or checking his emails or, or whatever it may be. You're just you're just condemned straight away. There's a lazy council worker. Do you know what I mean? Now, it's always us that get attacked like that. If, if there was a British Telecom man sat in his van or another contractor, no one would batter an eyelid. But because we're council workers, we're attacked straight away. Now, I don't know why that is. You know what I mean? Without us um, doing the jobs that we do, the towns and villages and whatever would be end up being a right mess you know considering we we do street cleansing and we do the pruning and the grass cutting and we look after your parks and vast array of other duties you know we help clean up um things that have been run over in the road and you know s snow clearing leaf clearing the, li the list is endless but with with the public you only seem to, to pick up on the things that are missed as well. You know, if there's a bin that's overflowing, it doesn't just get reported. People feel the need to put it all over social media. Oh no, the council's not doing their job properly. Look at that, there's an overflowing bin. And it, oh, it just, it's so irritating. No one ever writes in and says, do you know what? You've done a nice job. You made that street look really good or you made that park look really good and tidy. You spent an entire day cleaning snow or or removing leaves from a footpath. Well done. You know, you, you never get anything positive. But God forbid, if we leave the slightest bit of fucking mess on the floor, that's it. We're with the absolute scum of the earth. And we have to deal with this well, on a daily basis. I can't, we get shown that on our, um, on our, on our meetings, how many complaints come through and that there's on a graph there's usually quite a lot you know right? on a whole you know various um areas not just parks or streets i'm on about housing or whatever it may be you know there's always a big line with with complaints on yeah but there's compliments that are, are few and far between you know so i often say to people if anyone ever does approach me and say you know you're doing a good job here i says well can you do us a favor can you send an email to the council or give them a quick call just to let, let let them know that you're happy with the work that we're doing? Sometimes we get it, but a lot of the times I just think they you know they don't really care. But it it really is right. It really is difficult being a council worker, being on the front line with members of the public because they just don't understand what we have to deal with. You know, or we could all, everybody could always do a better job. But with the government cutting funding and staff getting less and less, we've, we've all got more jobs to do. You know, and sometimes you just can't keep up. So you can't keep attacking the council. This goes, this goes higher than us, you know? Anyway, I don't know why I'm making this video. I just wanted to sort of highlight it a little bit. You know, it was just, just on my mind. That, um, that we seem to get attacked by members of the public, but we still continue to do what we do to the best of our abilities. So if there's any of you out there watching this video and you see a council worker out there that is working hard, just go and pay him a compliment, yeah?